Hey YouTubers, got a uh, 2009 Jaguar XF uh, V8. Things an awesome ride. I got the uh, performance restricted alarm a couple of days ago, and uh, you know after checking things out, I I uh, amped out and wrung out the uh, factory cooling pump, which is buried somewhere under the grill. We got to take. I mean, you're talking about 16 hours if you don't have a lift. And uh, maybe a uh, you know a run to the uh, chiropractor to get your body straightened out again. So, anyways, what I did was it, Jaguar sells these things for four hundred bucks. You can buy them aftermarket for a hundred bucks a factory pump. I went even cheaper. I bought a uh, AC Delco for thirty five bucks off of Amazon, and it's a uh, cooling pump that goes to a uh, GM vehicle. So I had to. Uh, you know, do a little modifications on the wire terminals. You can see I had to put the number 22 wire terminals in there, plug it in, get a supply your own wire. <clears throat> Anyways, it's a molded elbow in this hose. And what I do is I cut the elbow out. I use a, um, a modified blade here. It's like a window scraper blade. You can use whatever you want, but snipped it out. Prior to doing that, I clamped off the hoses with the uh, duckbill vice grips. You can use whatever you want. So you want to pinch off this line and then pinch off the other line before you make the cut. That way you can avoid doing the whole venting of the uh, uh, cooling system and losing who knows how many gallons of antifreeze and just, you know, just making it, just making the job, uh, you know, go on longer than it has to. All right. So if you cut it, you splice it in. These, these, uh, these, this pump fit perfectly with the hoses. So it was a little tough. You got to really get in there and push on it. So once you push on it, get it in. Um, you you uh, tighten these up. Use a socket set to tighten those up. <clears throat> um, you know, ratchet rather than a socket set. Ratchet. Tighten that up. Okay, you put your uh, clamp, your little connections here. Make sure, you you know, it's marked positive and negative on the pump. Just make sure you get the, uh, you know, the right. There's usually knurls on most of your cords. And uh, you can find out what it is. Or if you want to be even double safe, you can, uh, you know, ring them out. Uh, this is number 44 of the fuse block. This went to the factory pump. And um, you pull the fuse out. You flatten down the wire. You slide it in between the female tab. And then you slide your fuse back in. So now this pump is fused. It's a 15-amp fuse. It's still protected. There's also a uh, time, uh, what do you call it, a uh, a time delay when it shuts off. I think this thing actually runs 15 seconds after you shut the engine off. So anyway, long story short, boom, you're in there. You got a ground here. It's pretty quick. Um, I probably got a half an hour into installing it. You know, if you got everything here, it's uh, it's it's pretty quick. It's fast. You know, uh, compared to like you know eight to 16 hours or 12 hours of screwing around with this thing. Um, unbelievable i mean some of the videos i was like there's no way i'm taking that apart all right so what's going on with the dynamics of shoving a splicing another pump in a line where there's already another pump well these are impeller pumps they're not positive displacement pumps so you you, you still got a direct uh uh what do you call it a direct connection to the suction side of the radiator off of this off of this pump and it's just going to pull the water through the old pump and push it push it in uh into the uh the cooler and the intercooler uh, uh supercharger cooler and then it's just going to come back out and flow back to the radiator just like it normally does so um that in mind i mean it's up to you guys you know i, I turned it on i drove it i have no uh the, the alarm hasn't come in i got on it pretty good and um you know you're talking about uh you know maybe a couple of hours if that, you know, less than, less than, uh, you know, like, like I said, doing the splicing and everything was like a half an hour, but, and the wiring, but if you want to, uh, you know, you take off a couple of the, uh, you take off the inlet, there's a little bolt for the, the, this inlet, and then these things come right off, and there's a little clip here for your, uh, your intake uh, manifold there. So, other than that, that's about it. I'm just, just rambling now. Uh, you just notch this out to get the get the wire in. You put a little RTV in there. I'm gonna put some uh, black silicone in on this connection. This thing is pretty good, but I'll I'll probably put a, a zippy tie on it or something just to just to make it snug so it's not vibrating. And uh, I think uh, that's it, people. You know, 
This is uh, Johnny's Backyard Mechanic here, and uh, we're always looking to beat the man. So uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, like I said, it's, it, this is there's more than enough water going through this thing. So um, we'll uh, I'll keep you. I'll I'll update the uh, the video under the video description if I run into a problem with it. But as far as I'm concerned, this thing's got 109,000 miles on it. I'm not doing. It. I am not taking the whole car apart just to put a pump in. Forget about it, people. Forget about it. I'm mean, gonna, you know, I, this is, uh, you know, this is stuff. I, I'm, I'm a pump uh, mechanic. I, you know, I know the flow dynamics and everything like that. You might lose a little bit, unless you're going down the track and you're racing and you got this thing pushing like 800 horsepower. You don't need that much water in it. Besides that, the engine, the, the computer will tell you if you need need more. So if it doesn't work, you can do it the other way. You know what I mean? All right, peace out, people. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And uh, like I said, leave some comments. Let me know if you guys have, uh, if I can help you out. If you got any questions on doing this quick project, let me know. You can do it on all the cars. It doesn't have to be a Jag. It could be a Mercedes, Beamers, GMs, you know, all the other cars. You can do the same damn thing. All right. We don't have to do stupid no more. See you later.